everyone, this is Bonnie from Backward Story, and I have one more unboxing for you this month. This morning, I received my unicorn crate in the mail. Rather, it had been delivered Saturday evening. It was a second special delivery, and I hadn't known about it, so I just got it out of the mailbox this morning and filmed that. So... These are probably going to go up pretty close together. But this is my final unboxing for the month. I got two boxes that had the same theme because I am obsessed with the book. It is my favorite book of the year and I want all the merch. So I've never had Enchanted Book Box before. I never had Unicorn Crate before either. So let's take a look at what's inside. And the edges are really cute. It says every box is a new adventure. You've got a picture of a book, and then you have their Instagram, Twitter, and hashtag handle, and then another picture of a book. And I probably shouldn't have spent the money for this, but I really wanted it, and they were sold out, and I was lucky enough to get in when they went for sale a second time. So, I'm really excited to see what's in here. And it starts off with a really pretty print, which is probably the spoiler card. And it's a mermaid, and you guys know I'm obsessed with mermaids, um, which is why I had to have the box. And it says thank you, and it's sealed nicely. And then there's floof when you open it up. i do this so that we don't see anything ahead of time and we can look together. But I like how it's packaged. In fact, you can only see a little bit of stuff when you open that up. So the first thing I'm going to see, since we looked at it already, is a bath bomb, Midas. And next, uh, we have... It is actually a map. I thought it was going to be a poster. It was ridiculously hard to open that, but it kept it really nice. Now it has to be flattened out a little, but it's very pretty. After finishing my unboxing and looking at the spoiler card, it didn't see that this map came from anything. It was just created, but the names were so specific. Minaria for the place, and then... Vorden, Jeskor, and Caligan for the types of maps. I figured it had to come from something, so I googled it, and it did come from, I don't know if it's a duology or an ongoing series, but Daughter of the Pirate King and Daughter of the Siren Queen, so it did come from that franchise, which I have the first book and I haven't read it yet, I've heard that it's very good, especially if you like to kill a kingdom, you will very much like this series as well. So the map did come from something, they just never said that it did, so I wasn't sure that it did until now. And I apologize for the Harry Potter house coasters holding this down, but it's not flat yet and it just curls up as soon as I take it off. So eventually that will flatten out. And then... All right, so next we have floof, floof everywhere. Um, next we have ooh, this little cute black container. I think it might actually be a cup cozy, something that you can put around a thermos or a cup of coffee to keep your hands cooler so they don't get burnt. I think that's what this is. Looks like that to me, a cup cozy. For anyone who was confused about what a cup cozy was or a mug sleeve, it is this. You just put it at the bottom of a thermos or a to-go cup. And it just keeps it warm so that the hot drink doesn't burn your fingers. And that's all there is to it. And it says it is from Take Me Away. Next. We have, it is a book sleeve, and they were anticipating selling out because of that. And this is the design. When you look inside, it looks like this. And then the 
bookmark that tells you the information about the creator, Baby My Book. Looks really cool. Kind of looks like tentacles there. And I've heard so many good things about book sleeves online, and I never wanted to buy them because they're pretty expensive. I was really excited when Owl Crate had one last year, and I loved that it was a mermaid and a narwhal on it because I love both of those things. But it was very small. It didn't even fit a paperback, let alone the hardcover in the box. So I was very disappointed. This one looks really large. It's going to fit a nice size book. This could even fit an adult hardcover, I think. I decided to do an experiment because the last time I got a book sleeve from a book box, it was Alcrate, and the item did not fit inside. The book that came with the book sleeve did not fit inside, and neither did a trade paperback. You had to put like a mass market in there. So the first thing I wanted to test is if the book that came with it fit, and it did, and there's so much room to spare, so I decided to get a taller book. I went for the Assassin's Blade, which you can see is considerably taller. And it still fits, and there's room for if the book was fatter, too. So then, y'all know Acomath is a fat little sucker, so I decided to try this one next. And if there's still room to spare, which I don't know that there will be, I've got this monster book from Brent Weeks to try next. This sucker is like a thousand pages. There it goes, and there's still a little room to spare. All right, the monster's only 800 pages, not 1,000, so it just fits. Like, I had trouble getting it in there. It's very tight, very close. I definitely wouldn't be able to close it, but I'd be able to have it surrounded. But this is the biggest book that will fit in there, this monster of a book. So I am definitely pleased with Baby My Book, and I think that the fit is much better than the book bow. It's possible they had a smaller size for the book boxes, something that was cheaper to make or something that fit into the dimensions of the box. But you know what? This came, and it was folded in half, and so it fit perfectly in the box. And Enchanted Book Box, the box is smaller than the Owl Crate box, so I think that they definitely could have put a bigger one in there if size had been a problem. I think it was more a manufacturing mistake or a design mistake on Book Bow's end. So I'm really pleased with this brand, and I would honestly be likelier to choose them over book bow. I like the material better. It's softer. It doesn't have the wrinkles and crinkling that the other one did and it snaps shut up at the top. So I actually really like the design quality on this particular book sleeve. Next we have a bookmark. V.E. Schwab. Lila Bard knew in her bones that she was meant to be a pirate. Cake and Paint Company. And then, oh, I think this is a candle. Wolf of the Waves, Ocean Spray, and Pirate Ships. Got a really pretty design there. And it is dark ocean blue, like the blue of a stormy ocean sea. Definitely smells like sea. Love the Grisha series, so I really love this. Next, we have the book. Oh no, wait, there's something under the book that I'll pull out first. It's a ring. It's a little big for my pinky, but a little small for my ring finger. But it's really cool. It looks like mermaid scales. It looks like the kind of treasure that they would have at the bottom of the ocean from a shipwreck. And then next, now we have the book. And surprise, surprise, it is To Kill a Kingdom, complete with a book plate that is signed by Alexander Cristo, as well as a letter from her. And if you didn't watch my Unicorn Crate unboxing, this is my favorite book of the year. This and Children of Blood and Bone, um, they were both amazing. They both came out the same day from the same publisher, and I was hoping book boxes would have both of them. And I was surprised by how many had To Kill a Kingdom when the other book actually had a lot more buzz and hype to it. Um, maybe it was the weight of the book. It was 
a 600 page book I don't know um this beats it out a little bit as my favorite book of the year and it's not just because of the mermaid siren thing since you guys know how much I love them I just really love the way it's written and when you turn to page one just that opening hook says um I have a heart for every year I've been alive. There are 17 hidden in the sand of my bedroom. And just, it caught me from the very beginning. And I was on Goodreads quoting it all the time. And I love how the end papers look like golden sand and treasure. And in case you didn't watch the video, I will read the summary again. Princess Lyra is siren royalty and the most lethal of them all. With the hearts of 17 princes in her collection, she is revered across the sea until a twist of fate forces her to kill one of her own. To punish her daughter, the Sea Queen transforms Lyra into the one thing sirens loathe the most, a human. Robbed of her song, Lyra has until their winter solstice to deliver Prince Ilian's heart to the Sea Queen or remain a human forever. The ocean is the only place Prince Ilian calls home, even though he is heir to the most powerful kingdom in the world. Hunting sirens is more than an unsavory hobby. It's his calling. When he rescues a drowning woman in the ocean, she's more than what she appears. She promises to help him find the key to destroying all of Siren kind for good. But can he trust her? And just how many deals will Elian have to broker to eliminate humankind's greatest enemy? And the summary just doesn't give you enough about how much I love the book. I will post a review link below. I will be gushing all over it, but that book was incredible, and I loved it so much that I bought two book boxes based on it because I wanted all the merch, and I am not at all even a little bit disappointed with this box. And here is another close-up of everything that came in this month's Enchanted Book Box. And I really liked everything so much. I liked the way it's all themed. I didn't think it would be themed when I saw all the fandoms, but I love the way it all looks very in line. And it was really cute, I thought. So here's the spoiler card with everything inside this month. Savage Sea. The book, of course, is To Kill a Kingdom. The book sleeve is by Baby My Book, and it is featuring the assassins and the pirate lord from Throne of Glass from the Assassin's Blade uh, novella collection. The A Darker Shade of Magic bookmark from Cake and Paint Company. The Naglai Grisha candle with the sea breeze scent from Gillywick Goods from Lee Bardugo. The map is designed by Sweet Sequels. The Mug Meat, so I was right, it's definitely a cup cozy. The Mug Meat is by Take Me Away brand. And then the Bath Bomb was inspired by Midas from To Kill a Kingdom. It's made by Fairy Tale Bath Company. And then they made the mermaid ring themselves. So that is everything in this month's Enchanted Book Box. I definitely liked this better than the Unicorn Crate. I was excited for both of them. I knew that the Unicorn Crate would be themed more, but I actually like the way this themed a little bit more in the end, which I wasn't expecting. So I definitely preferred this one of the two, but I thought they both were really cute and did a good job. Um, I would probably be more likely to get Enchanted Book Box again since both of them were new boxes I've never had before. This one would probably be the one I would be more likely to get again going forward in the future. I also think Enchanted Book Box has one of my favorite ways of packaging. It's got this really cute thank you sticker. It's got some tissue paper and it's got the floof and everything was really well hidden until I took it out, which sometimes you see things as you're pulling it out, which is why I've started moving the camera lower because I don't like to see it ahead of time and I don't think you do either. So I really liked the packaging and I really liked the extra Thank you note. It made it a little personal and special. So I like that a lot about this box as well compared to all the others out there. So I'd definitely love to know your experiences about the boxes, which boxes you like the best, and what you think about this book if you've read it because I'm so excited to talk to people about it. So few people have read it and the ones who have really love it, but Everybody read it so early that, you know, nobody's really talking about it anymore. So now that it's out and everybody's reading it, I really want to hear your thoughts. Um, I loved the book so much, and I am always up for talking about it. So that's everything from me today. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.